Alrighty then. Okay, folks. It's the big weekend. Sunday's the big day. It's the day all our sports fans wait for. It's the Super Bowl. You got the nachos ready. You're busting out the corona beers to fight off the coronavirus. All that good stuff. The invite lists are out. But what to do? How do you have some fun in the game? Is there some fantasy games you can play? Are there some bets you can place on the game? Who better to break that all down for us than Kevin Goatee? He's here. He's the uh, host of uh, Fantasy Football on Jibber Jabber. Kev, thanks for joining us again. On Thank Liquid you, John. Lunch. Thanks for being here. So back. what's happening? I know you're an expert in, in the field of uh, analyzing gambling bets and fan, the growth of fantasy football. Are there any fun prop bets or anything that people can do? Not take, you know, in places where it's legal, of course, but, you know, not take big risks, but just have a little fun with the game. You want fun? You can bet the color of the Gatorade dump on the head coach at the end of the game. That's always fun. Blue, pink, red, whatever it is, they have the odds out there. Different sites have them. They're even having the bet out there. Will Shakira and or J-Lo show butt cleavage? That is actually a prop out there. So there's a bet whether there'll be any more wardrobe malfunctions in the uh, in the halftime show. Right. Wow. They even you can even bet the coin toss, which I do, and that's tails never fails, kids. I, Easy way to make a quick buck, maybe maybe not 50-50 shot of that happening. Well, what are the odds on tails? It's 50-50. It, no, but I mean historically, it's one. It's, historically. One, it's my, yeah, it's still 50-50. It never is going to change. Really? Yeah. No, I mean you know maybe just in the big game, it happens to come up one way or the other. Just, tails the tails has come up more than not. So tails is something around 56 percent. Uh -huh. So that's going to put okay. you some money. So your the odds are in favor of the tails. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. been historically the, uh, the winner. Now, um, I've talked on this show before about, like, parlay bets where you sure. put, like, one bet. Like, I want to bet the Chiefs to win, but I want the over in the game to be o you know, over a certain amount of points. Right. Um, and my dad uh, always used to say when you call up the bookie and put in a parlay, they start laughing. On the other end of the phone. 100%. What's the best thing someone can do if they're in a legal state and they want to throw a couple bucks down? Just put a straight bet in? I would bet them separately. If you do like the over and the Chiefs, that is the way to play. That's called a correlated parlay. If you have a high favorite, you have to lay more points, so you want more scoring. If you pick a dog, you want to have less scoring. So dog and under, favorite and over. I like the Chiefs minus one. I like them for a lot of reasons. One. It's just some people's time, and that time is Andy Reid. Andy Reid's been in the game forever today. He's been a head coach in the NFL 20-plus years. It is his time. Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback on the field in the game right now, period. What are the two things you look for when you pick a game? Who has a better quarterback? Who has a better head coach? The Chiefs have both. Yes, the Chiefs have a little bit of an iffy run defense. The Niners are a very good run defense and a very good pass rush. I just think that the Chiefs can come back. They've done it. They were down 24 points against Houston a few weeks ago. They were down a few points uh, a couple weeks ago as well in the AFC Championship. They can come back no matter what. I think the Chiefs, with Patrick Mahomes, who against his zone coverage, uh, zone defense, excuse me, has the ni a 91 QBR rating against his zone coverage, which is what the Niners play. So he can run around, make plays with his legs, extend the play, find that open guy, or even take off with the ball like he, he is, has done. He is dangerous. Now, you mentioned you like the dog, right? right. So no, you I, like the, the dog. Chief, the Chiefs are the favorite. Yes, I like the Chiefs. The you favorite. like the Chiefs, yes. but you said you can go with the dog, and you right. said tails never fails. So right. is there a correlative bet, dog tails? Can uh, I put those two together? No, you can't, you can't, you can't parlay the coin toss <laughs> and the, uh, and the uh, no, side. No parlays there. No, no. All right, well, let's parlay this over to my partner and see what... Uh, wizardry you can impart on him. Well, Kevin, I need all the help I could get, uh, that's for sure. In the 20 months uh, since the Supreme Court has legalized sports gambling, or at least given states the option to legalize sports gambling, I've lost more than my fair share of bets. I am curious, mm -hmm. as we've seen more and more states move towards legalized sports gambling, not just uh, uh, Las, uh, Nevada and New Jersey, but states around the country. New York's talking about it. Washington State's talking about it. What has that done to uh, the sport itself? Uh, not only with respect to an event like the Super Bowl, but with the National Football League in general? What it's done is increased tax revenue for this state all around the country, each state that's legal, and it's brought in hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue, especially Jersey, where it was pretty much the, uh, the newest state, uh, the first state to ratify, of course, past Vegas. It's brought in hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue for the state. It's allowed also gambling to not be a dirty word anymore, mm. because back in the day, you'd have to go and find a guy to go and put your bets in, whereas now you can go to a, your local horse, uh, horse track, 
betting establishment where it's not a dirty word and you can do it legal without worrying about the cops knocking on your door. How does all of this affect fantasy sports? I know fantasy sports had begun to explode mm -hmm. even before the Supreme Court decision. Have we seen sort of a, a marriage between the world of sports gambling and fantasy sports yet? It has. It has because DraftKings and FanDuel are two of the, uh, the big books out there that do also fantasy plays. And they've also legalized betting, so they've been able to kind of capitalize on both. And again, making fantasy football not as much as a dirty term as gambling was or is, but that's become more the norm because it's really exploded in the last 20 years. Now that it's legal in a, in a lot of the areas, you can play daily fantasy in a lot of the states across the country. Now gambling is following suit. And therefore, again, coming into more revenue for those states that have made it legal. One item I just want to bring to our viewers' attention, one piece of breaking news that people should know about before we continue with the Super Bowl discussion, is that uh, New York City ha now has its first confirmed case of the coronavirus. Uh, the New York Daily News reporting that the first confirmed case of the coronavirus is in Queens. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. Be careful, those of you in Queens. Well, I'm assuming that uh, being that the coronavirus represents the crown... Um, now that it's in Queens, the next place we'll find it is in uh, Brooklyn or Kings County. And uh, I have my antidote right here. Um, it's like any other disease. You want to fight the disease, the coronavirus, you drink the corona. And you're safe. I'm telling you, for your Super Bowl party this weekend, get out there and get a load of corona beer and everybody's going to be safe for the weekend. I feel good about that. Now, um, Kevin, you know, we have uh, once in a while, we have... Uh, Hooters and Question Tequila, we drink irresponsibly sometimes on the show, but sure. we don't drive, and we encourage people to always drink if they do responsibly. And we're not encouraging anyone to gamble, of course, and if it's in a state, but how much does gambling go up on Super Bowl Sunday from the regular folk? Most people don't gamble, right? You know, maybe they go to a casino or something, but sure. this is the big day. This is the, this is the Christmas for sports betting, everybody. Everyone gets in. If you're, at a par, if you're at a party, they have what are called box pools, where they have different numbers around the board, and if a number ends in a certain digit, the winner of that box gets that money. So everyone bets it. You go to your friend's house. I'll, take, let's, I'll bet the Chiefs for 20 bucks or the Niners for 20 bucks. That's the biggest day of the year. Vegas, that's their biggest ticket day of the year by far. Beautiful. Well, it's a big day for, for us always when we have Kevin Goatee here. Breaking it down, uh, drink responsibly. If you choose to gamble, gamble responsibly. But you know what? Super Bowl's the day to let loose, and you might as well have a good time. It's going to be a good game no matter what. Kev, I want to thank you for joining us. I want to thank you for sticking with us through Hour 1. But don't go nowhere. More Liquid Lunch right after this.